Hey everyone, welcome to the Scottish Summit podcast sponsored by Proximal Tree. Uh, tonight we have two very special guests. They've been working together for a while the, the, in, in, the, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, my name is Rex de Koning. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm Paddy Byrne. I'm co-host of the Power Platform podcast. And we've got two very special guests today. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Sounds good. Hi, everyone. My name is Angeliki Patsiavu. I'm one of the business applications MVP in the UK. Day by day, I work for Avanet within the business application practice, working with both Dynamic 365 and Power Platform. And after hours, I'm very passionate about the community. I speak a lot, I blog even more these days, and just very excited to be sharing everything, every little nugget that I find with the community and be able to come together and learn. Awesome. Yeah, my name is Bülent Altensoy. I work with Avanet since nearly 14 years now. I'm wow. also a um, Microsoft certified trainer since 2021. I heard last week on Ferdun Baby MCT, so I just take that. <laughs> <laughs> um, 14 years experience with uh, Dynamics 65 customer engagement and also five years now with Power Platform as well. So, and I'm happy to be here as well. So, Boolean, is that, is that I'm saying it right? Boolean? Yeah. It's good. All good. It's <laughs> fair. Uh, aloha, aloha. I've heard. Uh, aloha. <laughs> we don't, we don't know what, a lot right. about you, but we did a bit of research and we heard you yeah. say aloha a lot. Yeah. Uh, that's because of my uh, honeymoon experience a couple of years ago, and I've never seen so much relaxed people on that island. I just thought that's absolutely me. I wanted to stay there. You know, my wife just you know reminded me of duties like we have to return back and you know have to work on that. And then I just went back to stressful Germany again. I wanted to keep the style of Aloha and just mentioned that in the project a couple of times. But my project uh, delivery lead was very mad with me and said, "Stop that." <laughs> The people cannot be that relaxed in that project. Stop that. And I said, okay, challenge accepted. I continue with that. And that some kind was the, some kind of brand mark somehow at the company. I just thought when I came out here in, uh, here in the community, I just used this as well. So everyone just knows, even I'm so far away from Hawaii, obviously. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, because I'm, I'm not very, I'm not very cultured, I'm afraid. Um, I don't go much further than, than Europe. But I was going to say, where's Aloha actually from? I was thinking Hawaii. But I was going to say, it sounded really ignorant saying, where's Aloha from? <laughs> it could be anywhere for all I know. Good but Hawaii, yes. Idea. <laughs> Had you been in Hawaii and you've brought it back, you've brought the Hawaiian spirit back to, back to Europe. Awesome. Awesome. Now, Angela, you came. We know we do icebreakers, we dig a bit into your personal life. You do, you're, you're a metal singer, aren't you? <laughs> yes, uh, I break music. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> according to the, uh, apparently, according to the Spotify yearly um, summary, I listen to music more than 97% in the UK. So I'm not sure if that's a compliment or an intervention, but it's primarily metal music uh, and I sing, I write, I play a little bit of guitar, and generally you'll find me most days uh, tuning into that. Awesome. So, Angelique, I told you I was going to put you on the spot tonight, right? But I'm not going to put you on the spot right now. I'm going to give you the conversation now to think about whether you want to do this. I said we're going to do a different outro. Could you sing in your metal voice the <laughs> Scottish Summit hashtag for Scottish Summit 24 on the outro? You don't need to do it right now. <laughs> but at the outro, when we do the outros, you can just do do your best metal scream of oh, ha that's hashtag the thing, Scottish Summit 2024. I don't scream, Patty. I do symphonic metal, so you have the opera. I can do a symphonic metal. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with a symphonic metal. metal. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need, you can always say no. <laughs> you we don't do it. I'm going to have to do we it. We can try. Tell you what, we only live once. Let's try. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, Perfect. like, uh, when, when we come to the intro, I, I know you're just, uh, you, you've got, you just had COVID as well, so I understand the throat might be a bit, you know, <laughs> lethargic. Yes. But at the intro, at the outro, if you could just give us your best hashtag the Scottish Summit 2024 with the sign that I'm so <laughs> good at teaching us, that would be fantastic. Okay, sounds good. So we'll leave, we'll, we'll leave the icebreaker for now, and we'll, we'll revisit that at the outro.
Great. Right. It'll, it'll work to Anna. <laughs> That's good. All right. So um, what I would like to know about you both when for everyone that is listening to the podcast or watching the podcast is a bit more into your day to day life. So um, we want to know what you actually do in terms of what the work you do or the personal life or the community um, involvement. We have a we're lucky that we have someone that has been working in the community for quite some time and someone that it's if I'm not wrong quite new to the community and the involvement and so on. So it will be really interesting to see and to, to listen to your day-to-day -day life and how that looks like. You should first. start. No, no, absolutely, you should start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, I'm in the global learning um, uh, department. So that's what I wanted to achieve. So after a couple of years, finally I landed there and then uh, I work in a global position, so it just opened the land. So before it was more on Germany, and then suddenly I just have seen how many awesome people are working in our company. And um, that gave me the opportunity also to execute global trainings. Um, and I'm just not only doing Power Platform, but also CRM as well. And one of the CRM trainings, and um, we come across then with Angeliki. And, um, but I had no idea who she is, to be very honest, because <laughs> I'm not, what I'm not doing is I'm not stalking uh, old participants who are just coming to this. So I had no idea. I just thought, oh, we'll be a regular person then come that call. And I just make aware of my uh, manager of, is she an MVP? Could it be she's an MVP? And we're like, no, that couldn't be that she's an MVP. Why is an MVP in that course, right? And then it was quite funny. Then we found out and, um, there was much more on fun situations, which we can just unfortunately not tell because time would then be, you know, it's limited. Um, but you're right. I was not really active in the community, but the reason for this is um, I had my eyes on the work because when I came to that global position, it was really overwhelming because I started and I didn't know when to stop. You know, when you're serving more or less all over the world. So I started mm -hmm. at 7 a.m. in the morning till midnight. And I thought this is a pace and I can't go this obviously. Um, but I had also, you know, during COVID and so on, my son was born, you know, my lifetime goal was more or less than achieved. And I had a lot to do with the family. And then, you know, Angeliki, but also other MVPs, you know, just told me you should not only do training internally, you should go outside and you know, spread the love as well to the community as well. And uh, then we just met in as well, you know, with two third of the group of the moderator group as well in Hamburg during Color Cloud. So I've seen Rex and Anna already live, and uh, but you maybe will not remember me because I was just you know in the audience and very unknown. But I remember you. <laughs> um, and then you know that electrifies me, you know, with all the energy and all the session and all the friendly people, and I just found some kind of the people I really like to interact. And that just motivated me to use my LinkedIn account, which I have, by the way, since 13 years, but never touched. <laughs> Created it 13 <laughs> years before. And then finally, also, the people also like thought, like, why is now posting like crazy, you know? And um, yeah, it, it's fun now, um, especially if you're, you're getting feedback. And um, the sharing is caring is really true. And that's really what I like. And also about the very friendly people. And that makes a lot of fun. Where that's why I'm awake sometimes even after midnight and just doing some community work because I don't know when to put it as well into my time and <laughs> time schedule. <laughs> I love that. I think that we all share that sort of like feeling where we enjoy being in the community so much that it doesn't feel like a way. It's more like something that inspires us to move right into and to create things, to create content and to share with the people that want to learn from us. So that's that's very cool. I'd like to be, uh, mention LinkedIn there um, because I, I, I didn't really use LinkedIn before I started in the community. It was actually a, a mentorship program I went on, um, Mark Smith's 90 Day Mentoring Challenge, who promoted using LinkedIn. I think I had like five followers or something on LinkedIn. Then once I, when, it's, it's difficult when you've got so minimal followers, you start posting and you get a bit of like imposter syndrome when you're posting, like, is anybody going to read this? And I use that I use that as a measurement and especially I lack a bit of self-confidence or I did lack a bit of self-confidence at that time. 
And uh, I use that as a measure of my self-confidence and watch LinkedIn. It's what, as soon as you start posting, the, the, the followers come and then you're posting regularly. And I think that's a good, a good measure for anybody who's, who's getting involved. And a, a, a good advice for the community is just try not to hold back. Because I used to write posts and then say, oh, actually, that's not good enough, and then just delete it. And I'd spend maybe 15 minutes writing a post and then delete it <laughs> and not post it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but once you get used to it and you get used to using the platform, then people are at, you find that people are interested in what you've got to say. And I think that's uh, a sound advice for anybody who's just starting in the community is to mm -hmm. utilize LinkedIn. Yeah, definitely. I, I've been using it for a long time now. And yeah, you get more followers or more connections, meaningful connections, as long as you keep being active. And it's sort of a circle, right? So you have to be careful sometimes. Uh, Angeliki, can you tell us about your day-to-day, -day, please? Sure. Um, so something that not many people know is that even though I went into the community very much as a change management and adoption person, and this kind of created a bit of a wave, right? No one's talking about it. Suddenly, this great Italian nerd is all over the place with it. Um, since October last year, I had a career change, and I went into from the advisory practice that I've been at within the business application practice. So now I'm in the functional path. Um, so between being a lead and doing a bit of architecture as well, which is super exciting because the more I was involved in the community, the more I realized I wanted to build things. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons uh, and or how we met with Yulin as well, that I wanted to make sure that I have all my skills up to date to get out there. But it turns out, and these are part of the funny stories that we have as part of that boot because it wasn't necessarily that I lacked the skills, but lacking some of the confidence, because when you do such a major career change, going into a technical path without necessarily having all the amazing qualifications that everyone else does, it's a bit easy to get imposter syndrome. And like you mentioned, Patty, it, it gets you. Um, but uh, Buland was one of those instructors that really gave me that um, epiphany that it wasn't necessarily the lack of skills, but I really needed to both believe in myself and just invest the time in getting my hands dirty. So what I do day to day is um, work with clients that are spanning across the platform, across our platform and Dynamics 65. I'm a bit of a digital chameleon in the sense that I don't, even though my language has always been CRM since I started working over a decade ago, I love Power Platform and I can do work on Power Platform. So the benefit in a way compared to some other colleagues is that I can span across both and I get really excited uh, when the projects utilize um, the whole platform because there's a lot more fun to be had. Um, it can get more interesting and challenging as well but ultimately it's what drives me. Outside of the day-to-day -day kind of work hours, um, when it comes to community, I found my tribe you know, that's how it started. And it wasn't about the award. It wasn't about um, anything selfish, truly. I found a tribe that I never expected. I found myself. I found a calling. And yes, I know they might sound like cheesy things to say, but I truly, <laughs> I, mean, I see Anna waving because she really gets it as well. Um, so whenever I speak, and I do speak a lot to the point where people see me in the office, for example, and say, you've been traveling a lot, which I feel is... <laughs> It's another way of saying, when does the work get done? But I'd still take it as a as a badge of honor because I do merge the, you know, the work life balance in a way that still works. Um, I love blogging because of how much I get my hands dirty. I'm sort of on a mission to show people all the out of the box ways to do things that they don't have to use code for. Like for example, you know, you can do everything with JavaScript. We know that. But I want to show people ways, most recently within Power Pages, that has been my recent love, Power Pages and Dynamics, um, all the cool things you can do without code. So any liquid, any JavaScript, whatever. So it really makes me happy to write these blogs, to come up with these demos. And of course, you know, everything Avengers theme has the background today, which is Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, music is still very much in my life. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the time to be in a band like I used to until the end of last year. I do want to resume at some point, but it's important to hear, to listen to your body and what you can do. But I still sing, I still write. Um, most recently in Dynamics Minds, without anyone knowing, um, I just rocked up on stage and what was it? What was it, Anna? Maybe a thousand people? 
Yeah, it was crowded. Yes. Um, so that was really fun. And it keeps the nerd in me happy. Well, you rock that stage, by the way, so. Yes. You're, Thank you. Thank you. It was a crazy moment, not going to lie. <laughs> One of the things that I wanted to pick up from your like story is the fact that it was quite a surprise for me to see your career change. But I'm so happy that you did it because you have the soft skills of the change management plus the frameworks of that, uh, like applying change management to any project. And then you learn the technical st skills um, or functional skills, but still they're quite technical. And I think that that was an amazing move. So huge congratulations for that. And that. if you haven't checked um, Angeliki's post, she always adds a meme uh, in the, you know, as an image. And they're always funny. So I recommend you to read the post because it's worthy. But also uh, check the images. Always super funny. The blog is empoweredhumans.net, shameless plug. And they're all movie themed, like Hannah said. So um, if you're a movie buff like me, hopefully you'll enjoy <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, for our next question, uh, uh, Bulent, uh, this this might be uh, not your cup of tea at this moment, because uh, <laughs> basically it's what, what were you involved in in the other Scottish, Scottish summit? Were you in Attendee, uh, for example? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Have you have you been to a previous edition of Scottish summit before? Or no? Yeah, I mean. I mean, I'm just active now in this year, so. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. It's not not everybody can can have been there. <laughs> that's like that's one of the goals that we want to achieve with this podcast and with this year's event to bring more people in. So thank you for being here. <laughs> yes, thank you as well. Yeah, well, the, the the next one is the next question is going to be more more uh, for you than in this case, uh, Angeliki. How was your uh, involvement in in Scottish Summit? Uh, well, you have been before, obviously, because of the, the nice year. <laughs> so, honestly, it's been amazing. Um, so, Scottish Summit 2022, where this T-shirt is from, was the second ever Microsoft Community event I did in person, as in speaking. Um, not going to lie, the, the, the first one was very um, much, much smaller. And it was going to be the first big one in the community. And I was absolutely terrified, not because the people were nice, not because everyone wasn't welcoming, but it was kind of a big deal. Um, and it was very much in the beginning of my time within the community. So naturally, the nerves, the imposter syndrome, everything is flying high. But I have to admit that the love and welcome and support that I felt, even from people in the room um, to this day. I remember it very well. Patty, you were there as well, and it meant a lot. Yes. A lot of people um, supported, and it, it it warmed my heart. It was a full room for a topic that people until then were not speaking about, frankly, and um, it was a lot of different tracks, amazing people. It just goes on to show that it's one of those events that really empowers you to bring your full self and people will celebrate it. You don't have to be anyone else by yourself. And that was very much the case last year as well. Last year was very interesting, um, obviously being in a different venue, not even in Scotland technically, but I really, one of my favorite topics was the charities that we're supporting, like Time. I think the, the work they do is amazing and being able to surface that through the community and eventually the, the event itself becoming a charity. I think that says a lot about its true moral fiber and character of it. So it's one of those events that means a lot more than just being an event. It just showcases the amazing people behind it and supporting it. And that's what I've always um, felt and recognized in yeah definitely yeah the, the the charities always have been a big part of scottish summit uh this year we we, we are also working with thai again okay. um and, and and it being a charity now by itself so a lot more good things can can happen at this time so it will be interesting to see how that that all is going <clears throat> and and yeah. last year we also have had the uh the the, the food for the the manchester food bank of course 
so the, the large amounts of food and, and stuff that everybody brought i think that matt's car needed a service <laughs> after that because of all the stuff that he needed to move it was so awesome to see how, how everybody wanted to help and, and brought things with them yeah that's always one like i think one of the core values of the scottish summit um and i'm quite proud that it's that way and what that what you just shared angelique about the feeling that you got and how supported you felt is one of the things that we've been discussing time and time again with people that join this podcast on how scottish summit brings like uh, an ideal scenario for us to grow as individuals within the community so it's a it's it's across all the episodes we have so i'm i'm very happy for that and Rex, Patty, and myself, we share the same feeling. So it's very cool. I think I forgot another highlight as well. So two years ago, we also had the accessibility hackathon. And that really moved me as well because, I mean, hackathons are amazing. We get to do them usually as part of a big conference like this. But that's um, just a pure focus on accessibility, I think, was just perfect. Um, because it's one thing to be a geek for the day because it's fun. It's another thing to know that you're focusing on a matter that will directly impact and benefit people because Donna was like, guys, whoever wins, I'm taking this to the product team. This is not staying here. And that really meant meant a lot. And it, it's not because um, a team and I won. It was truly not that. It was because of the commitment that what's happening today is going to be a lot more than just today. And it's just another way for the event showing that um, they're walking the walk in so many ways absolutely yeah definitely yes yeah, that was a highlight for me as well um that, that accessibility hackathon was excellent um and uh, you, you won angelique can you tell us a bit more about the solution that you, that you delivered because yeah. i was really impressed by that solution so let me tell you this <laughs> what i find interesting about those hackathons just as an intro to what way you asked me is that you come together with people you've never worked with before you don't even know and suddenly you need to become a, a well-blended team that works together and in a few hours um, not only is very good at collaboration but eventually comes up with something great now when it comes to accessibility um there's so many topics to handle like so many um but the one that we decided to handle was taking it to the basics and looking at the Macho 365 world and particularly teams because and i'm sure you are all uh, able to relate to this, you know, when like your notifications are piling up and you get the red notification kind of like increasing nonstop, or you get, you know, those pings nonstop and different tenants at this point, it's quite overwhelming. So being neurodiverse myself, as well as a lot of people that could have maybe other kinds of disabilities or mental health issues, it's quite a problem. And, I, and it wasn't necessarily something that was looked at. Um, so we saw from this by mocking up an accessibility center for teams where you can manage the different kinds of notifications and it could flow through across other Microsoft 365 applications. Now, granted, hacking the team's API was not in the scope of the day or for the time we had. So what we did instead is use the amazing World of Park platform and Canvas apps, you'll be happy to know, Buland, um, to recreate teams and recreate uh, what our imagination was about this brand notification center uh, that would bring you into the Zen state and ultimately make you more productive as well. So we focused on that. And I think what really helped as well is that we started our pitch by purposely overwhelming the audience. So we found a YouTube clip where it's um, playing on a loop, the notification ping, and then we had a PowerPoint that was constantly showing you more and more notifications coming up on what looked nice. like a team's tenant. And it really overwhelmed everyone to the point where they were like, how do we stop this? And then boom, the solution. So our delivery was really good. And something that might look fairly simple was addressing quite a fundamental problem with a lot of benefit for uh, people across the spectrum. It's an amazing solution. I, di I, I didn't see it. I need to see that. It's somewhere. I, uh, I, don't, I haven't seen it rolled out as a product yet, but uh, it definitely went into a backlog. That's but you need to do a post about it or share it with the world. I will be more than happy yeah. to read it. I'm the person that has all the notifications muted because they I cannot. I right, cannot. so you get it. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And to think that you came up with that 
concept and was able to demo okay and what wasn't demo within teams but you could demo that concept within about six we say six hours but it's actually less than that because of all the presentation and things like oh, that 100%. Within about six it's hours is, that's really impressive I don't know if anyone remembers, but there was a point where there was multi um, simultaneous challenges happening with the mascots. And one of the challenges was still another team's mascot. So we get one person from another team tackling our mascot. And Angelique, who is also <laughs> in the team, decided that enough was enough and went on WrestleMania on that person. <laughs> so in the middle of us trying to, to put this together, there was a real life WW event happening as well. So it was definitely less than four to five. <laughs> That's impressive. Congratulations. Great, great job. So, Bulia, could you tell us a bit about your involvement in the current Scottish Summit? How? Oh, the, the, the upcoming Scottish Summit. So, first of all, um, this will be the first conference with a bigger audience. So how could we prepare for this? So Angeliki came then with a great idea of, hey, how we do, you know, have a session together, for example, in the user group in Cambridge. So then we speak then in front of maybe not so many people which will be there like in Scottish Summit, but at least some people, you know, to have a start. So the plan was to, at least to speak in front of 15 people. What we just didn't know that at the same time in the Euro England was playing. <laughs> and I just brought hot weather from Germany to UK. I just learned, you know, it wasn't that hot like before. So <laughs> people just decided more for ice cream and watching then the game in the pub. And then Faradun, who was just the host, you know, apologized several times. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No one will appear here today. And then <laughs> it was only the committee there. And I was like, okay, why not? Then we can just being ourselves and being silly. And that's the nature of myself, you know, being silly during all that. So Angeliki can sing a song of them. Hi, I just have moderated there in bootcamp training. Um, and then it was really fun, you know, just to say that and then try things out. And I think this is also a good start. And you can already expect, you know, in a session of Scottish Summit, you know, this will not be a boring session. This will be a very interactive and sometimes even a very joke and funny session. I can already guarantee that's you. Great. <laughs> yeah. I think that's really important. We've spoken about this before on the podcast that you have to be yourself on these um, these events, these these speaking events, because you can give as much technical information as you want, you can deliver as much concepts, but if you haven't got that personality and that, they're, they're here to see you, the audience are there to see you at the end of the day and relate to you, so you've got to express yourself and bring your own personality it's to it. It's the same with the blog, blogging as well. I, by the way, I, I usually hate writing. But I knew I have to be forced to write all the technical documentations and also in all the trainings, you know, so I used to do this. Uh, but um, obviously in our company, I can't be that. I have to be professional. But when I started with the blogging, you know, the blogging usually is, hey, this is a technique. These are the steps, one, two, three, how to go and so on. It's kind of bore me every time to death if I read that kind of things. So that's why I'm always starting with some kind of an interesting story. Like, yes, last night I just have posted something. And hopefully I've set some earworms in some heads already <laughs> with that. Um, that's what I'm usually doing. So that, that blogging, is a, I can't write it in a way like others can do. And Angeliki style is definitely unique and also definitely something which is more in my direction. And I have also a unique style of writing as well. And this is what you can expect in October from our session. That's good. That's a very good promotion of yourself and your session. I like it. Wasn't planned, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Angelica, do you want to expand on that, or is this is, is really oh, um, so we are doing a session on XRM Toolbox. All the cool tools that you need to keep in mind when you are a maker, or when when you get your hands dirty with DataVerse um, in any shape or form. Now, there's some tools that everyone will know. We'll bring some surprises as well. But I think it's important to go to what uh, is very foundational because one of the amazing things about Scottish Summit is how diverse the attendees are. So you'll get people of all levels, 100 to 400, and it's very important to solidify those foundations. So we thought it's uh, long overdue to have a dedicated XRM toolbox session, uh, and it's quite applicable across streams. 
And oh, I forgot to say we have a very exciting concept. Um, now, for the Marvel fans out there, you're probably aware of the multiverse. We are going to be working on the multi-dataverse. So that's our plan. Nice. <laughs> that's a very good catch. Excellent. I can't wait to see that. Um, <laughs> Shuana. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> we told you we are very formal. Yeah, and, you know. Angelique, we made it. They, they, we bring them out of concept. That was our main goal of the podcast. <laughs> that was accepted, it said, right? We can go now. We achieved our goal. I told you already. Um, no, I just wanted to to know from you both, how do you feel about, or what do you want to get back home with after Scottish Summit 2024 finishes? Is there something that you're really looking forward to get? Um, preferably not stealing any any you know objects, but <laughs> the memories or the things that you want to bring back home. What is that? Do you want to have a funny answer or a serious answer? All of you. Yeah. <laughs> both. Okay. Both. I mean, both. You've, you've, you've teased heard, us with a funny answer now, so you two do both. We heard scotch is very famous right there, some kind. And the bottles are also very cool there. Let's see what we can steal there. No. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, um, let, let me say, I'm, and I know it's Angelique since a couple of months, and um, that's great that she shares also all the journeys. She's just doing how amazing that is. And because I'm more or less still, you know, outside of all that kind, and that amazes me. And Every time when it just comes back from that kind of a session, it just, you feel maybe a little bit empty um, because you are with so many good people around and you had so many fun moments. And when you're just returning back, you know, reality catches you again. And um, this is something which I haven't just really experienced. And I would also like to experience this as well, how it is. I have seen that partly in Hamburg, but I wasn't on the stage. I was only behind the scenes, but it was really great to see um, how amazing stage performance were there and even i was electrified even i was just only in the audience so yeah and this cloud color cloud was for me big enough but you know scottish summit i think will be much bigger and greater stage and i'm really looking forward to this and i think this will be fun what i would recommend for a scottish summit is that you book a couple of days after you arrive on holiday just so you can rest <laughs> this is going to be it, it that's the it's problem not being as a farzer you know as a farzer <laughs> you know if people also send me asking me oh you're going on vacation that's great enjoy and relax i say, I say that's no. only parenting in a different city it's not really holiday <laughs> yeah. so if i'm returning no. back i already know what kind of duties i have <laughs> so <laughs> unfortunately that was a holiday will not that work out like like wow. but thank you for the tip <laughs> <laughs> we always recommend that because we believe that when I started, I believed that I was able to go back working on Monday <laughs> and then the day on Monday, you're dead. It's like a lot of energy, you know, you know, a lot of interaction. So it's, yeah, it's, but it's in a good way. Socializing is difficult at those networking events as well, because you've seen people you've not seen for maybe six months to a year and yeah. you want to speak to everybody and that, that does take effort and you're, you're yeah. tired afterwards. I even yeah. in Dynamics Minds, I even had an app the second day because yeah. it was too much. Too much. Well, I, I remember the Dynamics <laughs> Mind picture a lot. I have the feeling everyone was there. And a lot of pictures have been shared. And I think there was a lot of emptiness when you just returned back from that summer vacation. It's emptiness, but it's also inspiration too. So for me, it gives me so many ideas of things to create and people to speak. That is just, it's a little bit overwhelming, a balance between emptiness and too much. <laughs> so you have to balance things out. But yeah. Angeliki, can you tell us about your expectations for 2024 Scottish Summit? So um, I'm really excited to be rocking the stage with you, Lent. Obviously, we have the UG experience, but um, it's a massive exciting honor to be a Scottish Summit together. Uh, for me personally, this 2024 is a year of collaboration. So I'm doing a lot of collab sessions and I learn a lot from my co-speaker. I end up 
um, I think improving overall um, as a speaker and a, and within the community as well, because there's so much that you get to learn from the other person about yourself that you wouldn't necessarily do on your own. The energy is insane, so I can't wait uh, how we're going to energize each other and the audience. Aberdeen is also new for me, so I'm quite excited to tour that and see what's up. Um, last time when we were in Glasgow, I was absolutely mind blown. Beautiful place, so I can't wait yeah. to explore more of Scotland. And I would say also, similar to yourself, Anna, I'm looking forward to um, learning what else is out there, mostly seeing all of the cool features that are announced every time in practice and see what everyone comes up with. Obviously, it is the year of AI, but there's a lot of things that happen within it. And within that, I'm actually excited to look at what's out there outside of our platform because I think that's where our skills get even more important, whether it's MP65 or Azure. I love seeing the sessions as well. There's a lot of compatibility with what we do and that cross kind of hybrid approach. So I'm really excited for that as well. You know, being uncomfortable, being comfortable enough to be uncomfortable. That's it. Yeah, I love that. That's a really important thing to, to speak about because Scottish Summit started off as a dynamic street, started off D365 Saturday, and then it evolved into Scottish Summit with a bit of Azure in it. And now it is across the whole Microsoft stack. So a lot of people I mentioned Scottish Summit too, they think it's a biz apps conference. It isn't just a biz apps conference, it's across the whole Microsoft stack. It's got Azure, it's got Microsoft 365. Windows, there's a lot more than just biz apps to Scottish Summit, even though it's run by mostly biz apps. People, there's more to it. And now the fun time. Yes, it's I'm looking forward to it. The outros. <laughs> Have you got anything to say? Brilliant. And Angelica, where can we find you? And then we'll hand over to Angelica to do the. <laughs> Hashtag this is a lot of pressure, by the way. I just have yeah. six running points for whatever comes out. You you can blame Patty. That's fine. It was his idea, so you can blame him, and that's it. It's not blame Angeliki anymore. It's blame Patty. We don't talk about that, Anna. We don't talk about that. <laughs> um, do you want to share with us like where people can find you? Uh, I think that we're putting things in the somewhere here yeah. so okay. you can see it but also we will tag it in the post but if you guys want to share a bit more of like your socials Ladies where can first. people find you sure um so now we can see the empowered humans blog so please do do look into it super cool movie themed solutions there then in terms of socials, you can also find me on LinkedIn and on Twitter, SlashX, however you mention it. And uh, please reach out. Let's have some cool geeky chats. Good. Yeah, and myself, you find me mostly on LinkedIn. You know, I, I don't have Twitter or X or whatever it will be called then in the future, you know. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> um, I started also on YouTube, but I, to be honest, the last months, uh, weeks were a little bit too much, so I didn't have really published any videos, but this will come. Uh, but uh, definitely that website you're just currently showing, you know, I just put at the moment a lot of Copilot Studio stuff at the moment. The reason why I'm just doing this is because this in my company or our company is currently such a huge need and I just got asked every time, every time a penny I've got asked for this, I would be a billionaire already, you know, <laughs> I would be on, on Aloha. I think that, that's in every company at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, that's why uh, I just started on this and to, to you know, demystify all that kind of things because things are working quite well some things are not working, uh, working quite well but you know i will also add some power platform stuff as well because i'm considering myself a power platform i just do everything in power platform except for power bi that's my kryptonite yeah. uh, this is something which i will i guess till to my end of my life i will not really understand yeah. to explain that kind of, of processes it's, but you're either <laughs> like power apps power automate code pilot studio and Power Pages or Power BI, right? It's yeah. so, I cannot, I cannot. I, the, the interesting the, part is I can just do everything, you know, except Power BI. And, um, but the good thing is, you know, cooperating with Angelique is she's getting much more skilled in Power Pages. And that's why she's writing this time. I'm more in Power Apps home. 
and also some kind of power automate. And, you know, that is, you know, that makes us complete, you know, with all that kind of knowledge. And um, that's, that's also when we're brainstorming during work as well with some kind of when everyone has a question to this and so on. That's really geeky and that's really fun. And um, yeah, so Copilot Studio at the moment. That's why I started the Copilot Studio newsletter. I just was looking for this and no one has started that. And I said, okay five subscribers, that will be enough and so on. But that is, you know, after three weeks, 500 subscribers, I've never expected that. Even my wife today subscribed and I just asked her, <laughs> you know, you are a normal architect, what have you to do with this? And so, on. yeah, it was shown, you know, do you want to subscribe? And I just said, okay, okay. Now I know how it works in LinkedIn, how, why we have so many subscribers. But uh... <laughs> You're paying the family to get new subscribers, I can see that. Yeah, I learn only from the best with bribing, you know, bribing is a mechanism which only works and so on. <laughs> That's good. Before we jump into the outro party, shall we share the things that we're sharing in the um, banner? Yes, we can do. Yeah. So travel and hotel discounts are give contact KLM, Logan Air, Hilton, Aloft, ScotRail. Um, you can go to scottishsummit.com for that information. There's discounts on those airlines and hotels. Where can we get tickets, Rex? The tickets are at scottishsummit.com slash tickets. And in that location, you get the tickets for the for the main event, so for the conference, uh, also for the workshops on the 17th. Uh, and we also have the tickets there for the pub quiz and the cabaret show. Should I bring up that we won the, pu the, no, the pub quiz? No, you shouldn't. <laughs> I just see Anna doing fingers. I don't know what, what she's doing. That's because I was, he was saying tickets uh, you know cover it blah 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 i was trying to count it <laughs> but it also gives me this number which is three <laughs> different like that we won <laughs> i keep bragging i keep bragging you're watching um, again anna <laughs> So uh, from my end, I just want to encourage all of the people to just re you know, request, request, uh, get your tickets and get more familiar with College Summit if you haven't already. And I don't know, you guys, if you want to say something else. Well, I, I want to hear the hashtag from you now. Me too. No, for me. No, it's going to be Angelique. <laughs> I always forget. That's why. <laughs> do, you just, do you just account as in to count you in, Angelique, or are you just going to go for it? I'm just going to go for it, but because we're going to make this geeky, I'm going to sing it in the style of Journey, and you're going to have to identify which song it is from. Because if we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. Oh, this is excellent. Right. Yeah. Homework. Let's do it. If you want. Come again? You can count me in if you want. Anyone. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I this is your stage now. I just want to see because I haven't seen that on Dynamics Mind. I just want to see now the live. Oh, this is this is a whole different game. All right. So here goes nothing. And for everyone watching, this has not been rehearsed. This has not been thought through. But this is how we roll. You know. Yes. True. True Scottish summit style. Okay. So here we go. Scottish summit twenty twenty four. Get your tickets today. Whoa! Fantastic! Whoa. Absolutely fantastic! My That's God! Really How are Thank we going to much. even like I'm match up? Marketing next year. <laughs> you, I, I, that was that was. I don't know if that was better than uh, Gary's hacker. I think that was better than Gary's hacker. We had some yeah, was. On. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. That's the the best. Yeah. Icebreaker. Yes. Yet. How are we Thank going so to make much. the next episode so, you know, the, the finished part, like the end part, so appealing? I don't know. So, so, should we put, so should we put a survey up on LinkedIn for the listeners what Journey song it was from? I only know one song from Journey, and that's because I, I like the Sopranos. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Journey as well. I, lo I love that there's so many metal covers of them. Yeah, so I think we should put a survey out on LinkedIn and leave it for the, the listeners to decide to record, see what, and we'll give it away next week. Could we a wee video recorded as you can tell us what song it's from, Angelique? All right. Ah. <laughs> so that's it. We should.
finished. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.